Former President Donald Trump released a collection of 45,000 fantasy non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, after he alluded to a big announcement on his social media site, Truth Social. According to the collection's website, the Trump digital trading cards feature images of the president in a style similar to collectible baseball cards. The tokens, minted on Polygon, cost $99 and can be purchased with Ether or in fiat currency. All 45,000 NFTs were sold out in a day. But Trump said his NFTs are not about money. Although, back in 2019, when Donald Trump was the president, he tweeted about Bitcoin and Facebook's Libra, saying he is not a fan of crypto. Back then he said, cryptocurrency is not real money, and pointed out their price volatility relative to the dollar. However, Trump seemed very enthusiastic to promote his new collection, saying, these would make a great Christmas gift. Trump said, he knew nothing about the NFTs. A group came to him with the idea and showed him some of the art. And he said, quote, I love the art. He added, it's sort of comic book art. And when they showed him the arts, he said, I always wanted to have a 30 inch waist. Trump though the arts are cute and they might sell in six months. But it was all sold out in just six hours. Trump's NFT collection is made up of 45,000 unique collectibles and was sold out for $4.45 million within a day of launching. Although the NFTs were originally priced at $99 a piece, individual NFTs have since fetched considerably higher prices in the secondary market due to the incredible demand. When asked about the superhero NFT sale, Trump said, these are not about the money. He just loved the art. According to Trump, the NFTs are not investments, and with $99 you're getting these beautiful and interesting visions. Each NFT is numbered to 20 or less, with some holding, the distinct one-to-one -one rarity. Consumers can buy the NFTs with a credit card and an email address, and can buy up to 100 of the digital trading cards. The NFT collection has also come under fire for allegedly using copyrighted photos. For example, a Twitter user pointed out, several designs that seem to be Trump's head-on images from stock photography, small apparel business websites, or even clothing available on Amazon and Walmart.